now I'm still digging stuff out of the cab, getting ready to glass bead it. Um, gonna cut everything and get it glass beading and cleaned up so we can start putting the floors in and get her put together. Cab's all blasted, getting it cleaned up. We're gonna clean out a bunch of the spots and stuff and run around it with a waffle wheel and some of the areas where some cough was and dig out some other spots. Clean it up and uh, get it in and get it in epoxy. Get the last bit touched up that had to be touched up. All right, but she's stripped down and getting ready to get her in there. Take a heater apart. I, I really think we should have pulled it out. We're gonna have to go back. We really took it outside to glass beat the floor. We ended up glass beating a lot more. Well, we had the dash all covered with cardboard. Yeah, taped all up that. They sealed. saw that in video. It was all okay. covered up. We were gonna try to, but we're gonna have to take yeah. it out. But we're gonna have to disassemble all this and take it all out. But There's no of, way of getting around all instead that. Instead of worrying about glass media. That's what was to touch my hand. Something. Yeah. I don't know. Soft no, that ain't it. I don't know. Anyway, just junk, trash, more shit. But you, you can't get around it. When something's been sitting this long, it just, you gotta tear everything apart. You gotta get it gutted, get back. You go around this other side over here real quick. And you see this whole corner, I mean, you look at it from the outside, the inside, it's Swiss cheese, go down underneath of it. Yeah. See all that? I tried to pull it out to open it up to get some of the stuff, and just as much in that side was here packed in and wet and everything else. So, ah, just normal things, but we're trying to knock it out, but we're going to run into some more things. Tomorrow morning, we'll take it back, and uh, we've gutted some more areas. We're going to glass beat some fine things, glass beat some more around on everything. We just got to take it apart. I was just yanking apart. I was hoping to keep it, you did know. You feel the, did you feel the, ace, uh, the heater core in there? No, nah, not really. That's nasty. It feels like fur. I'm serious. It's it's like fungus has grown or hair or something all over the, yeah. The core is completely uh, plugged. We need to just take it out. We tried to get around it. There's no way. We would have ended up running into problems once it's all in paint, man. It needs to just tear the dash apart and get it out. There's no way around it. Uh -huh. right and keep it clean and get it back even if you know he wants to do this body and everything he has to look at all this i want to get him up here and see some of it yeah okay yeah. you know so it's coming out really nice the rest of the truck is all really done really good it's just we got to finish right there and go back outside tomorrow and uh we'll have it by the end of the week it'll be ready to paint what do you think uh yeah. Oh, all kinds of shit still coming out of the tubes. Yeah, normal shit. We just, <laughs> good acorns. 
Well, you can't really cut corners. You got to really take everything out when they've been sitting and stuff's been in it. That you, you got to get all that. That's just clean it all out. It's been sitting a long time. Every critter's been in there, chipmunks and all. Yeah. All right. And then I've been back up acid washing the root more. Um, got up on there and wiped down and really rubbed out and got little dots everywhere. So acid washed that some more and got rid of any of the surface rust up there. Kenny's here getting ready to take the, the AC and all that out and just get it out of her way. We were gonna try to cut around it, but we can't. We, we just gotta do it. Anyway, one of them things. Right here, I'm, I'm acid washing the roof some more. I've had to go around. If you see this spot right here, it's a stubborn last, some of the stubborn rust spots. I don't want to glass bead the roof a lot because a big flat surface, you can clean off everything, but metal treating and acid treating it really digs out the rust. And you got little dots here, little dots over there. I've been rubbing it down with more phosphoric acid. And these last spots, you just got to get up here and scrub out the last of it with acid and soak it in. And really, you see, it'll, it'll clean out. And then I'm gonna rub this roof down with some soap and water, a little bit of baking soda. And that's just my rubber gloves. But see this roof, see how it does this? You don't really wanna glass bead it much. It's a, a very soft, in the, you know, don't wanna warp it, don't wanna bellow it. So I've hand done all the roof and everything and I'm ready to clean it up. I mean, you guys probably saw it when it was covered in rust. And uh, that's what it looks like if you get done acid treating it. I mean, I come in real nice and tight. See the little streaks are just my lacquer thinner rag. And we're still going to take and wipe this down and DA it again real quick with 180. And then it'll be ready to shoot. I mean, you can just shoot over that, but I like really, really, really getting it all neutralized and cleaned. And it's really sweet right now. So, all right.
can't buy these. So we couldn't find one? You can't buy them. They don't make them for this. So instead of trying to find one in the junkyard, which is impossible. out in uh, 600 and ready for a sealer and body color and clear got the outside looking smooth as can be ready to go I'm in I'm inside the jam right here the uh, part where the chain hooks up trying to get the last little bit wrapped up <laughs> 